Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. In this video, I will continue the second part on mastering prompt, mastering chat GPT prompt writing. So if you missed the first part, you can refer the video in, in the in the Facebook group and also in the YouTube. So let's uh, continue. In the first video, uh, I have explained the building block of ChatGPT prompt. So basically, there are five main elements in the structure of good prompt. So you can see here who, the persona, or the role that we give ChatGPT to play. So we define the persona, the task, the context, the information, and example. Okay, so these are the five element as much as possible we want to have it in a complete prompt okay now let me um, explain in more detail but before that there's a video here i would uh, highly recommend you to watch this video this guy explained the, the five elements here very well in fact i take some some of the ideas uh, from this video and expand it now um yeah there's a timestamp as well you can just simply click the timestamp and you will jump to that particular point in the video. Now, ask ChatGPT to take on an identity or persona. So this is the first element in the prompt structure. So by giving the instruction, we give the identity to ChatGPT. So ChatGPT will take on this identity or uh, the persona. And this is important to provide context, tailor responses, encourages creativity, enhances learning and make interactions more engaging. Because we must treat um, our interaction with ChatGPT just like having a conversation. So it allows the AI, the ChatGPT here, to generate relevant and diverse responses from different perspectives, making conversation more informative and enjoyable while facilitating problem solving and decision making in various scenarios. So here are three examples. Um, the same, the same topic or the same uh, type, the same uh, thing that we want uh, ChatGPT to give us. In this case, concept. We want ChatGPT to explain the concept of a carbon footprint, and we give ChatGPT three identities or three persona, and you can do this as as an exercise. You just copy the prompt one by one and compare the output so that we can see how by defining different personas we can get different output okay so the first one here from the viewpoint of an environmental activist explain what a carbon footprint is and why reducing it is crucial for combating climate change so the persona here is environmental activist the second one here, from the perspective of a sustainable living enthusiast, provide practical tips and strategies individuals can adopt to reduce their carbon footprint in their daily life. So the first one as the activist, the second one as an enthusiast. So it depends on what exactly you want. Then you give that role or persona to chat GPT. From a view, the third, the third one here, from the viewpoint of a corporate sustainability officer, discuss the importance of measuring and reducing a company's carbon footprint. So, this um, the the right way of defining the role and the persona. If we don't specify the role, then if we just put in the prompt, explain the concept of carbon footprint. Just, just like that, very general, very broad. Of course, ChatGPT will uh, give you something. Always will give you output without fail. But then, it will be very general, very broad. It may not hit the, the spot. If you scroll down a bit, you can see uh, there's a link here. This website has a long list of identities and personas and example of prompt. So if you click this link, it will take you to this page here. 
there's a lot of uh, good information about the uh, chat GPT prompt in this on this page but you see if you scroll down here so you can see there are a lot of uh, it gives a lot of example here the different persona chat GPT SEO prompt X as an uh, ethereum developer X as a Linux terminal X and English translator just scroll down here act as an English pronunciation helper so you just scroll down can see the example of prompt for different persona and can look at the uh, how the example how uh, we write how they write the persona how they define and provide details of uh, the persona that we want chat GPT to to play okay so just go through and learn uh, how we can actually copy and use this persona if that particular persona is uh, relevant for you. Okay, act as a dentist, act as a web designer, act, act as a doctor, as, as act as an accountant. So you just look at the details of the uh, prompt to define the persona. Okay, so um, and there's an exercise that I have provided here. Feel free to try it out. Now, the that's the persona or the the role or the the who in in the uh, prompt structure. The second one is the task. So we want to tell ChatGPT precisely, exactly what we want ChatGPT to do. So a good prompt should indicate the task or request or request specifically and explicitly when the task is expi explicitly stated it reduces the likelihood of misunderstanding and misinterpretations making the interaction with the AI more efficient and effective use action verbs so there are uh, example here and um, the task can be in terms in the form of requesting information okay um, seeking recommendation, asking for clarification, instructing for problem solving. So, for example, here for problem solving, we say okay, uh, troubleshoot and fix five connectivity issue on my laptop. So uh, these are the different ways how we can specify the, the task, requesting analysis, soliciting advice creating content, generating recommendation based on preferences. So you can see each one, uh, I have given the example of how you can write the prompt to specify the specific task that we want ChatGPT to perform. Okay, okay, that's the second one. The third one is provide context. Provide the context based on the task, then what's the context? For example, you can say, act Okay, start starting from the first uh, the first element in the prompt act as a consultant in higher education with the more than 30 years of experience your task is to write a proposal for digital learning blueprint for the for the ministry of higher education so the the, the context here is the target group the target group is Ministry of Higher Education. So that's the example of putting the context so that when ChatGPT write the proposal, uh, it knows that okay, uh, the level the level is for higher education. So it will kind of target uh, correspondingly. So um, context and information. So these are the the third and the fourth element I cover together here. And ChatGPT, remember this very important point. ChatGPT thrives on information. So writing an effective ChatGPT prompt involves more than just asking a one-sentence questions. You must provide the background information and the context. So here, start with the context. Begin your prompt by briefly summarizing the topic or situation you want to discuss. This helps set set the stage for the AI model to understand. The context of your questions then specify your goal clearly explicitly state what you want to achieve 
all the information you seek, whether it's a seeking advice, requesting information, or asking for an explanation, make your goal explicit, and then include relevant details as much as you can. Don't be lazy because this is the important part. The more information you provide, the more that JGPT will tailor the response and the output. Uh, because uh, that's become the information becomes so called uh, knowledge based. If you use ChatGPT Plus, then uh, I prefer in my case I prefer to attach a document uh, to become the knowledge base for for ChatGPT, and um, it will provide it will provide all the necessary information uh, so that it can tailor the output to my to my needs. Okay. So here I have given some example of context here um, so you can go through the example and there are some there are uh, exercise as well that you can try out uh, with chat GPT okay and in terms of information I mentioned just now the more information you provide the better the output will be and uh, these are examples of examples of um, so-called additional information that you can provide chat GPT then uh, finally example example um, including actually the format how you want the output uh, chat GPT output looks like or the example of example uh, research proposal so find a good example and you want ChatGPT, you want to tell ChatGPT follow this example, then it will be better because ChatGPT will uh, kind of uh, tailor the the output based on the example rather than just giving any any format um, any um, kind of uh, format of the output, but but a very generic kind of uh, format not really the one that you want for your purpose so to to do that we must provide ChatGPT with example a good example okay so i think that's about all uh it's more detail on the five elements of what we need to have in a good prompt structure which is the who the persona or the role the task the context, information, and example. So I hope this um, helps to uh, clarify and also make it even uh, clearer. So the next time when you write a prompt, always remember these five elements. Uh, sometimes maybe we, we want to make it simple. Maybe we don't have to have, to have all the five, but as much as we can, especially when you are doing something um, uh, like a serious uh, write-up for research grant proposal. That's a good example. So this is where you need to have all the five elements in the prompt structure. So that's all for the video. Inshallah, I will uh, uh, continue and cover other requests and questions related to ChatGPT and uh, other AI-related uh, stuff. I hope I have given value for your time and uh, I'll see you in uh, the next uh, video.